are gathered in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with you. So, good morning. Good morning, Father. Morning. So, the, uh, this morning we've been asked to pray for uh, Richard Escalante and uh, Rosemary Leonard. And also, um, uh, we've been asked to pray for um, uh, Sister Constance, who passed away yesterday. Uh, we prayed for Sister Constance uh, in November. She had her 107th birthday. Uh, so she passed away yesterday in her sleep. And so, uh, um, so her, her sister, her younger sister, is still the oldest, is now the oldest in the congregation. So the uh, so we remember uh, Richard Rosemary and Sister Constance in our prayers today, and let us ask the Lord to listen to all our prayers. When our lives are so filled with busyness that there is no time for the people that matter most in our lives, Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. When we allow the challenges of life to overwhelm us and take life from us, Christ have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. When we feel the need to strive for more, to be better than others, or to get more material things that falsely fill our brokenness, Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. And let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that the newness of the nativity in the flesh of your only begotten Son may set us free from ancient servitude, holds us bound beneath the yoke of sin. And we make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. A reading from the, from the first letter of John. I am writing to you, children, because your sins have been forgiven for his name's sake. I am writing to you, fathers, because you know him who is from the beginning. I am writing to you, young men, because you have conquered the evil one. I write to you, children, because you know the Father. I write to you, fathers, because you know him who is from the beginning. I write to you, young men, because you are strong and the word of God remains in you, and you have conquered the evil one. Do not love the world or the things of the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, sensual lust, enticement for the eyes, and a pre pretentious life is not from the Father, but is from the world. Yet the world and its enticement are passing away, and whoever does the will of, the, of God will remain forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Responsorial Psalm, let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Give to the Lord, you families of nations. Give to the Lord glory and praise. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Bring gifts and enter his courts. Worship the Lord in holy attire. Tremble before him all the earth. Let the, the heavens be glad and rejoice. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world firm. Do not be moved. He governs the people with equity. Let the, the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. A holy day has dawned upon us. Come, you nations, 
and adore the Lord. Alleluia. Today an, a great light has come upon the earth. Alleluia, Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And so with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. There was a prophet of Anna, the daughter of Phanuel of the tribe of Asher. <clears throat> she was advanced in years, having lived seven years with her husband after her marriage, and then as a widow until she was 84. She never left the temple, but worshipped night and day with fasting and prayer. And coming forward at the very time, she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who were waiting the redemption of Jerusalem. When they had fulfilled all the prescriptions of the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and in the favor of God, and the favor of God was upon them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So after, uh, um, after giving uh, birth, according to uh, the book of Leviticus, uh, a woman uh, had to kind of go into a, a quarantine, um, a purification, uh, because of contact with the blood, because of the contact with blood. Uh, makes you unclean and so they had to uh, uh, go through a period of purification before they could take the child to the temple. Uh, I remember uh, right up till I was a teenager um, a woman who gave birth uh, had to be churched before she uh, went back to uh, before she could go back uh, to church again and receive the sacraments and it comes from uh, from that practice the um, and the, so the um, so they they bring uh, Jesus up to the temple and uh, Simeon uh, the uh, receives him and uh, and then we have uh, Anna the uh, and it's a uh, uh, it's a thing that Luke does all the time that when there's a story about a man he parallels it with the story of a woman. And he does that all the way through his gospel, and because uh, Luke was a Greek, and uh, so in the Greek world, women had a different status uh, to men, and uh, so the uh, and it's Luke uh, who gives us the Martha Mary story, where Mary is sitting uh, at the uh, the foot of Jesus, and uh, so the uh, and that's the classic pose of uh, master and disciple. And so it's Luke's way of showing that Jesus accepted women as disciples. It's, um, and uh, so, the, uh, so Luke uh, does that. So, the, um, uh, so tomorrow is the last day of uh, 2020. And normally, uh, before any time we talked of 2020, it was about eyesight. And <laughs> it was uh, perfect eyesight. But even though we all had, uh, might have had 2020 vision in uh, 2019, none of us saw, could see round the corner of 2020. And uh, so 2020 vision didn't give us that. And so, um, uh, and we'll all agree that it's not uh, the best of years uh, for us. So the, um, uh, it's been difficult to see where we're going and where God is leading us. Uh, through all this, it's uh, and, uh, so difficult to see. And so Jesus himself spent 30 years in seclusion. Um, it's called the hidden life, the hidden life of Jesus. And uh, so there he, uh, he had to learn. Um, the, uh, so on his mother's knee, he would have uh, uh, learned many things, his prayers and uh, a lot of the history of Israel and, and that. And so, listening uh, to his parents, the uh, the rabbis, to scripture, uh, and through prayer, um, for thirty years, so he was able to discern what his uh, vocation in life was going to be, because uh, he didn't arrive uh, in Bethlehem 
with a job description in his hand of what he was going to do. He had to uh, discern, uh, discern that. And so, the, um, so uh, Jesus had that hidden life where he grew and, uh, and learnt the, um, what the Lord was uh, calling him to do. And it took uh, 30 years uh, for him uh, to do that. And so we have our own hidden life as well, uh, struggling to find out what the Lord is uh, calling us to do, what the Lord wants us uh, to do in life. And so, and we too need to listen to the voice of God, the voice of uh, Scripture, the um, and especially our prayers. The um, so Jesus, before he did anything important in his life, he always spent the night in prayer. So it might have been a bit easier to him because he was speaking to his dad. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, so, but he every important decision he made. <laughs> He always spent the night in prayer. And that's a great example to us to uh, any decision we make is to, uh, is to pray about it and to ask uh, the Holy Spirit to, uh, to give us uh, guidance. But then uh, as we come towards uh, the end of the year, uh, we might be thinking about some New Year's resolutions, uh, maybe um, something to do with um, uh, the excess pounds we might have put on uh, during the uh, pandemic and uh, but maybe one of the things that would be a great thing to do in uh, 2021 uh, would be to read a little more scripture each day in our lives and uh, either take uh, the Bible and uh, to read a, a little passage it doesn't have to be much, just a, a paragraph or so uh, the, uh, or you could do the uh, um, take one of the daily readings, uh, and uh, if you go to the uh, the bishop's website, um, USCCB, the uh, um, United States um, Conference of Catholic Bishops uh, dot com, the, uh, the there's a section there uh, daily readings, and you can look up the readings and just to read one of them and maybe uh, uh, reflect on it and that that would be a great resolution for 2021 and to help us uh, to find out what the Lord is calling us to do in our <coughs> lives as well and so let us pray Our response is, Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord hear us. That we may, above all else, we give praise to God at this time for the gift of his Son, Jesus Christ. We pray, Lord, Lord, Lord hear, hear us. That like Jesus, we would listen to God's word coming to us from scripture and prayer, we pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear us. us. We, for the Annas and Simeons of our community, the seniors who have given much during their lifetime, we ask the Lord to bless them now with the Sabbath rest. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear us. us. We pray that the vaccine may bring a quick end to the pandemic, and in 2021, we can return to a more normal way of life. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear us. us. That God will hold in his care the enormous number, number of refugees around the world, struggling to remain hopeful, and that governments will rewrite policies to resettle them in safe homes, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear us. us. And let us make our own special prayer now to the Lord. Lord, help us to grow in our faith. May we come to see your design for us more and more and live accordingly. And we make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given the human hands of made, become for us the bread of life.
loved. I said to you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, become our spiritual drink. And let us pray that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands. May the Lord be his name for our good and the Lord of the Holy Church. And let us pray. Receive with favour, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries. And we make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen the Lord be with you and with, with your spirit. spirit and let us lift up our Praise hearts the Lord to the Lord. and let us give thanks to the Lord our God it is, it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord Holy Father Almighty and eternal God through Christ our Lord for through him the holy exchange that restores our life has shone forth today in splendor when our frailty is assumed by your word not only does human mortality receive unending honour, but by this wondrous union, we too are made eternal. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name, in the name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, that by sending down your Holy Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Again, he gave you thanks and praise. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, we shed for you and for many, so that sins will be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. Save us, Save Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partake of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Jose our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her husband, with the Apostles, the Martyrs, and all the Saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Now let us pray now in the words Jesus himself gave us, our Father, who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, from every fear and evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, protect us from all anxieties, await in joyful hope. 
for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you all. Amen. Amen. So, peace, peace, peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. And this is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are we who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and I shall, my soul shall be healed. <clears throat> and may the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. O God, who touch us through our partaking of your sacrament, work, we pray, the effects of its power in our heart, that we may be made fit to receive your gift through this very gift itself, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. So the, um, uh, there was a uh, sister, the passing of Sister Constance, uh, remind me of uh, the, the nun who was ill in the convent and um, so the, uh, she was getting very weak and the doctor suggested that they give her a glass of warm milk every night and to put a shot of brandy in it and so every night they give her uh, the shot of brandy and, uh, and it comes to the time that she's about to go to the Lord and the sisters are all gathered around and they say Mother, is there anything you want to tell us before you go to the Lord? And she says, yes, she says, whatever you do, don't sell that cow. <laughs> so the, uh, so Sister Constance, uh, uh, she was 90 years a nun, which is, uh, that's an in incredible feat uh, to be uh, in, pr in religious life, 90 years, so. Um, so I'm sure the Lord's having a very uh, special celebration to receive her uh, there at this time. And let us ask the Lord to bless us all now and the, uh, to be especially mindful of our families and friends. And the Lord be with you. And with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And the Mass is ended. Let's go forth in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks. be to God. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, John.